Good afternoon, dear colleagues. It's a great pleasure to, uh, um, and a great responsibility to uh, uh, give this presentation uh, regarding the key factors um, for long-term outcomes. And I would like to start by uh, acknowledging that while I am speaking here, Harvard School of Dental Medicine is celebrating the 150th anniversary of its existence. And I would like to take a few seconds to send a warm greeting to all my colleagues, peers, and students over there, uh, and saying that I really wish that I could be with them uh, celebrating. And my warm uh, regards to all of them. I will be back tomorrow for continue with the celebrations. So, in uh, preparation for uh, this topic, I realized two things that I learned preparing this presentation, and I also realized that some things that it needs to be further explored in our field of impl implant dentistry. So I would like to propose that we explore the topic of long-term outcomes based on knowing what we have as the current success criteria. We're going to make the bulk of this presentation about the clinical application of this scientific data, what those numbers mean for you, and what those numbers mean for you treating your patients. And then I will give you a, a, some uh, food for thoughts in this uh, practic practical interpretation of the outcomes I will present before making the final remarks. So, what do we know in the current success criteria? And I'm going to show you briefly here a case. 